If you are looking for a fun and educational way to engage with your kids, KiwiCo crates are definitely worth checking out. We've been enjoying these for about a year now, and uh, this video is gonna be our honest review of our experience with KiwiCo. Nothing was sent to me, I'm not being paid to talk about this, but I do have affiliate links down below in case you are interested. Uh, we've enjoyed this, so we signed up for their affiliate program. So uh, if you do consider buying, please, Check out those links down below. Uh, we're gonna dive into why you might wanna subscribe to KiwiCo and then uh, show you what comes in a typical box. Now, KiwiCo crates are monthly subscription boxes that are designed for children, really of all ages, um, and each crate is gonna be tailored to a specific age range uh, and a specific theme. Now, I can't talk about KiwiCo without first covering off on what STEAM learning is. Uh, because the base of every crate that they offer is centered around the STEAM learning curriculum, which stands for science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. It's a new-ish uh, approach to education that really emphasizes the integration of all those subjects uh, to prepare students for a future and really expose them to a wide range of skills and concepts that are pretty essential in today's world that is dominated by technology, which is changing at a very rapid clip. Now, one of the biggest advantages of STEAM education is that it promotes creativity and innovation by blending uh, the traditional subjects of, you know, of the science, technology, engineering, and math with the creative arts, students are gonna be encouraged to think outside of the box and come up with unique solutions to different problems. Now, this is gonna help them to develop a more holistic perspective uh, and a deeper understanding of the world around them. So with that general baseline of what KiwiCo crates are, are trying to achieve on a, on a very fundamental level, let's get into the actual crates themselves. So they offer a variety of different levels based off of the uh, age that you pick. So I, I mentioned that earlier, and each crate is going to include all of the materials and instructions needed to complete a couple different projects. Now, Henry right now is five. So we've been opening the Kiwi crates, which is made for children ages five to eight. Getting a look at a recent crate that we opened is usually centered around a theme. Uh, this particular box that we held onto and opened for this video uh, was called Circuit Science, and we did activities learning about electricity. Now, each crate also comes with some reading that gives additional information related to the theme of the crate and adds learning beyond the projects themselves. Within the box are all the materials that you're gonna be needing for the different projects that they're gonna have you doing, all of which are guided by the small pamphlets that are included. Now, it goes without saying that all the projects aren't just fun little art activities, right? They're designed to teach kids in a variety of ways. So, for example, within the first few minutes of opening this box, a circuit box, um, Henry was already learning about how electric currents flow in a loop, which that is just such a cool thing for a five-year-old to be exposed to. Now, in our experience though, with the Kiwi Crate in particular, there are some times where I feel like Henry's really on the bubble of getting the most out of this, because even though he's somewhat ahead for a five-year-old, the Kiwi crates feel sometimes just like a little too ahead for him, uh, but I feel like the koala crate, uh, crates, sorry, that are made for the two to four year old range wouldn't give him as much value. So coming from the parent of a five year old, I feel like the Kiwi crates could be a tad challenging, but in a way that's a really good thing. As he gets older, I think the value of those Kiwi crates and, and the understanding of some of those concepts are just gonna get easier and easier. So. That's just our personal experience with a five-year-old. Overall, I'd say that these definitely offer great value considering the cost of the materials and instructions included and just all the learning that he's, he's been doing. Uh, these have been coming to our doorstep for about a year now, and I don't really think that we're gonna stop the subscription anytime soon. Now, if you're interested in subscribing, you can sign up using the links below. They are affiliate links, uh, but they do help support this channel, so please consider doing that. Now, while KiwiCo crates have many benefits, there are a few drawbacks that I wanna bring up, okay? So number one, just like I said, it's a subscription service. So you're gonna to need to commit to a monthly fee of 24 bucks a month for these crates, uh, or you can save a few dollars if you like commit to like longer terms, uh, which is what we're doing. Uh, but for some families, you know, it can feel like a bit of a, a stretch, especially if you have multiple children, uh, then, you know, you don't wanna be buying a crate for each kid. But I think overall, it could be a family activity, so you could probably just get away with one. Second, while us adults can see the advantage for the theme of each month, there's not a 100% guarantee that 
your kid is really gonna latch on and love the theme of the crate. So it might feel like you're wasting money uh, if it's something that your kid really isn't enjoying. Now, for our experience, Henry by nature is a very exploratory kid. He loves learning uh, and, he, and that's not something that he, he's never really shown any sort of disinterest toward any of the, any of the activities. He's really enjoyed every single crate uh, that KiwiCo has thrown at him, but you know, there's a chance that your kid might not 100% enjoy the theme or, or what's going on. Third, like I hinted at before, the projects might not always align uh, with your child's interests or their skill level. Some kids might find the projects too easy or too hard, which could lead to frustration and then, you know, and then that leads to like a lack of engagement with the activities that they have. So you need to consider where your kid is at and kind of modify accordingly. Uh, I would just test it and, you know, do a, a one-off month uh, with a specific crate, see how it goes, and then maybe go from there if, if you find that they're enjoying it. But that's the way I would approach it, just in case you're worried about whether or not they can keep up or whether or not they're just, this is below them and they need something else. Number four, now this isn't something that I've really personally dealt with, but I have heard a couple parents voice this concern, uh, and that's when some materials or instructions are just missing or the quality of uh, the craft pieces aren't up to par uh, and there's a little bit of disappointment there. Again, not something that I've dealt with, but I have heard that on occasion. And then to round it out, as parents, we're often pretty burned out by the grind and just too tired to like sit and play and engage with kids, which is why we often revert to like screen time, letting them play on tablets or just kicking them out into the backyard, letting them figure it out on their own for a while. I would say that KiwiCo crates aren't really meant for a kid to just kind of sit there by himself and figure it out on them on their own, at least in those early years when they're not fully able to read yet. Okay, since the majority of the audience who are following this channel, they have kids at you know six and under, right? Not all the kids are fully able to read, so they kind of need your help uh, and a little bit of handholding and engagement. Uh, through some of these KiwiCo crates, right? They need help kind of like reading the instructions and you kind of have to sit with them and really engage and, 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 and walk them through. Now, the reality is for some parents, they're not looking for that. They just want their kids to just be entertained by themselves. So if you're looking for something to add to the arsenal of activity so they can just learn and play by themselves, I would say, at least for our stage of life, this isn't that. Okay, I would say this is a much more hands-on and engaging activity uh, on the part of mom and dad as well. So to wrap things up, KiwiCo crates are an amazing way to engage with your kids, help them explore, help them learn on a deeper level. And it's something that we've personally enjoyed over the last few months. Again, if you're interested in checking out KiwiCo, I've got those things linked below this video. Be sure to go ahead and like this video if you found it really helpful, and then check out this one next. God bless. We'll catch you later.